Welcome to Erica Designs. Hey, what's up guys? It's Erica and I'm here with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create this beautiful tassel. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, I actually was online on Pinterest and I saw this picture, okay? And it was basically a picture of a tassel on the knobs of a dresser or of a vanity table. I'm going to show you what it looks like on my vanity table. So I saw this picture and I immediately thought, oh my gosh, I need to buy a tassel for my vanity table. Then I went on Amazon and I quickly realized that every single set of tassels cost at least $15 and up so I was thinking to myself what's the best way what's the smartest way and what is the DIYers way of creating you know the best product so of course me being myself <laughs> I thought well let's give it a try let's try to make it and if I can't make it well then I will purchase it right because I always believe if you can't make it you purchase it but if you can make it you make it so this is the final results but I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do this today so you can see I put crystals on it you're gonna need a couple of things one of the first things you're going to need to create this is string right this is like the sewing string that you use just to sew it's just basic this is what you use to sew you can also use yarn if you want depending on how thick you want your tassel um, you can use yarn. you can really use anything as long as it's a string like material you can do it um, and then you're going to need you're going to need something like a, a an object that you can wrap the string around so this is how you're going to start you're going to wrap your string okay I have the end of the string right here I don't know if you can see this but here's the end of the string in my hand and I'm going to set the string back and I'm going to take it, I'm going to wrap it around the easel and I'm going to continue to wrap it. So let me see if I can get a better angle. So I'm going to wrap it around the easel, wrap, 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 around the easel, wrap it around the easel, wrap it around the easel. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So you're just going to wrap around the easel. So you might do this like a 400, 500 times. Trust me when I tell you this is not an easy process, but it's worth it. And I feel like the thinner the string, the prettier the product. I honestly believe that. So the thinner the string, the prettier the product. So I'm just going to give you a quick example. So now that we have this right here, it looks like a jumbled up mess. We're going to take the end of the string and we're going to grab the string like this, like so. And you're gonna put them all at the end, okay? So this is exactly what you're doing. You're gonna keep wrapping it until you have a thick uh, layer. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll be right back to show you what's the next process. I want you to look, I marked it here and the reason why I made a mark was because I wanted to make sure that the next time I was going to create another tassel, I wanted it to look exactly like the first one that I had. I'm going to come down here at the bottom of it. You're going to grab a knife right there. And just cut, 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 cut until they all separate, okay? You can feel it kind of like really this is what we have so far just lay it flat right here okay I'm gonna lay it flat and then we're gonna grab another piece of string that I have right here and I'm going to put it through the loop make sure both sides are even and we're going to lift it up as you can see right there it's being held by a string and we're going to tie it up okay so ooh, ooh, ooh. and now oop so we're gonna just tie it. Okay, so you can see that right there. I tied it up right there. You're going to need another piece of string. There's the string, okay? And I'm going to 
take one of these big crystals like I was showing you guys. You're going to take one of these big crystals. You're going to unravel the big crystal. And this is going to be hidden inside of this part. So before I even get to this part, I'm going to do something though. I almost forgot. I'm going to take my set of three crystals. Okay, my set of three crystals, here they are. And I'm going to take some wire, not too much, just a little bit, to wrap it around this part. You're going to take the wire, here's a, here's a piece of wire in my hand, and you're going to loop it within the hole of the crystal. Hopefully you guys can see that. And you're going to turn it turn it within itself okay hopefully you can see what I'm doing grab my ugly scissor again snip that be careful wherever those pieces are falling then you're going to take your your uh, and you're gonna wrap it right here to the middle so you're going to wrap your tassel Okay, you're gonna wrap the tassel. Okay, so now that we're at a good, we have a good wrap, wrap it maybe around four to five times, you're gonna grab the ugly scissor again, and we're gonna, you know, look at it, okay? So this is what it's looking like right now. It's looking pretty rough. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my comb and I'm gonna comb out the, the hairs because it's pretty tight, the string. We're gonna comb out the string and there's gonna be a few flyaways, trust me. This happens in every single time I do this. So you're gonna have a couple of flyaways, but this is what it's looking like right now. So now we're gonna lay ourselves down right here, okay? And we're going to take the crystal that I was telling you guys about and we're going to insert the crystal inside of the hairs, okay? So just insert the crystals inside of the hair. And you're going to wrap, I don't know why I'm calling it hairs, but you're gonna wrap the string, whatever you're using at home, and you're gonna wrap it around the crystal. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna wrap it around the crystal. Now you're going to grab another piece of string. <laughs> and with this piece of string right here, okay, you're gonna put it right underneath this crystal. Okay, I'm trying to look at the, the mirror, the camera. I'm trying to look at a lot of things right now. Just, I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna just wrap it around and then we'll tie it because I didn't like how not tight it was. There we go. Oh, I want it to be nice and tight around the crystal so that when we get to the part where the metal comes in it'll just fit right the metal will just go right around it very nicely so this part doesn't really matter when you are using yarn and stuff like that for this party or like anything that's a little bit bigger it's a little bit hard to see because there's so much going on uh, you don't have to worry so much about the tying, okay? So this is what we have thus far. Okay, that is so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna take our comb again and we're gonna comb through it. Let me do it sideways so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna comb through it. You, if you feel like this is enough, like this is just gorgeous, you can leave it like that, okay? You can leave it just like that, but of course, because I'm extra, move the crystal around in there, I'm extra and I will always be extra. I'm going to take some wire now, take out the ugly scissors again, to wrap this wire around this part right here. So basically, right where we just tied, I'm going to wrap the wire. Be careful with your fingers in this part right here because your fingers can easily get caught in 
the tip of the wire because that's exactly what happens every single time I make a tassel. My fingers get caught in the tip of the wire and then I'm like, ouch, ouchy, ouchy. So you know, grab it with caution, with love and caution and with love. So <clears throat> as you can see, this is what the original looks like, which means that, um, all this is really meaning to me is that I have more wire on this tassel than this one. So now what I'm going to do is then I'm going to lay down the tassel one more time and I'm going to get more wire. Whatever look you want for your tassel, give it. And we're going to grab our comb one more time. I'm going to comb through the tassel. Okay, so we right now what we're doing is we're just combing through the tassel. The final step is we're gonna put the two tassels right next to each other, okay? I'll comb through it. <laughs> so take the two tassels, place them right next to each other, lay down the crystals, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to cut the second tassel according to the first one. So, so these are the final results, and I'm gonna show you the final pictures so you can see how they look on the vanity table. Thank you very much.